Sagittarius. Welcome to your soulmate reading. Thank you for being here. I appreciate each and every one of you. We just hit 35,000 sub. Listen, I'm, I'm overwhelmed with joy, really. Um, so, you know the drill as always. You might not connect with what I say. I'm talking to a collective. You can check your other placements if ever. And also make sure to like the video. The signs who get the most the most like will get a bonus reading at the end of the week. So make sure to like this video, okay? Good. Let's see. Ooh, we have emotions are running high, super moon. So you might be feeling something for someone, okay? Maybe you are in the beginning of a relationship or maybe you're in a relationship and about to take a new step. So a lot of emotions. Um, let's pick a card from a full deck to see the energy that completes this card. Give me more clarity. Okay, we have six of pentacles. So an equal give and take when it comes to love, okay? But also it could be leaving in the past someone who was just giving you enough always just giving you enough so the relationship still exists. So there's definitely a feeling of releasing the past and now being done with that. Uh, and I don't wanna focus on the past in that reading. We talked a lot about a karmic relationship in the past reading. And now I just wanna go and talk about something fresh, okay? So an equal give and take when it comes to love and finding balance within yourself, Probably managing work, your love life, family life, everything, okay? Uh, something big is coming, definitely. So let's uh, start with the Golden Girls deck. Tell me what Sagittarius needs to know in love. Okay. So we have the Hierophant and the Eight of Swords. So you could be communicating online with someone being in your head a lot about it okay um maybe you felt trapped in the past for a long freaking time and now you finally are freeing yourself okay and the hierophant is communication it could be a long-term commitment definitely hierophant is honestly the most magical powerful and sacred card in the tarot it is here to bless the reading always it's also here to, you know, make you remember that you don't need to listen really to what other people are saying when it comes to your choice, your body, your life, anything. You are your own master. You are your own guru, your own intuitive. Um, so follow your guts, definitely. But I do feel like there is a situation that you're in your head a lot about because you're kind of transforming. You're kind of leaving behind um, a state of mind or kind of a situation that was really hard, okay? We're moving out of that. So a lot of you could have been like divorced or separated in the recent past and now you're opening up again to love. It doesn't have to be that, but I have goosebumps. I really feel like there's something, there's something special coming. Yeah. Okay, the three of wands. Just when I was saying that you're ready, someone is ready to start dating again, to start being serious and committed to someone. Uh, and again, in the past, maybe you had people who were just giving you enough. Never, Maybe you never felt like someone was loving you as much as you loved them or com was as committed as you were or vice versa. You know, we never know. Three of Wands is like, we're ready. Shit is happening, okay? I'm done with waiting. I want it now. So if you are communicating with someone online, the tension might be building up like big time. We have another eight. Okay, eight is transformation. When we are transforming, we are completely different than when we started this thing, okay? So... This past situation that might have hurt you, that was, you know, brought you a lot of anxiety and stress, you're leaving the situation by 
transforming. So being someone completely different. So people will say that you change. Good thing. We don't care if someone is uncomfortable with the fact that we change and we evolve. Listen, um, you have really high standards for yourself because the Hierophant represents not only tourist energy, but you know, this kind of stubborn energy of I know what my worth is. I know what I want and I'm not settling for less. The next time I open up my heart, I open up my home uh, I for, to someone, I will know this is the right one. You don't want to play games right now. I think you're done with playing games. Uh, you're willing to put in the effort, the work in a relationship, as long as the other person is proving you with their actions how committed they are. Not only by saying, babe, I love you. I'm here for you. No, prove it to me. Show it with your actions. Um, how are you here for me? You know? I love that. Beautiful. Definitely high standards, high boundaries when it comes to letting someone new in. And I like that. <laughs> really high boundaries. Okay. Really protective of your home, your cash, your body. You're like, uh, you're going to, I'm hearing you have to deserve me. You have to owe me. Uh, not to owe me. Remember, guys, I'm French. Sometimes I'm a little confused with the words I'm using. It's like I'm talking in French in my head. But the Queen of Pentacle is, first of all, on top of her game when it comes to our money, our business, our home life. She's focused on herself. Um, and a seed has been planted, okay, in the past by either you leaving a relationship it could be you starting a business. There's something that you started not too long ago that is really expanding fast. And I think that it's part of why you're transforming. It's part of why your boundaries, your standards are just a lot higher than they were before. And we have the Six of Sword also. And the Six of Sword is also a card of... I know that people who did me wrong will get what they deserve. And I know that I will get payoff for my good karma. Okay, let's put it this way. I'm leaving behind a situation that isn't serving me anymore. And I'm happy about it. It feels comfortable. Uh, I'm carrying with me all the knowledge of, you know, what I learned in past relationship. When I learned in past mistakes. And also what I learn seeing people treat, treating me in a shitty way. You're like, I know the type of people I don't want in my life. And I know the type of person I want to be in a situation, in a relationship. Okay. Uh, nine of pentacle, bottom of the deck is exactly what I was saying. This is Virgo energy. Virgo energy is incredibly, you're incredibly aware of who you give your time to, who you want to open up space for. And being okay with the fact that you might be alone for a while. You're okay with that. You're like, you know what? I'm not, I'm not just going to open my heart to any freaking person who comes in and talk, you know, talk, talk, talk. You're like, no, I want someone to prove to me with their action that this is an equal give and take. A relationship where this person is on your level, literally. Yeah, a lot of potential. But this is, I'm going to be honest, this reading right now is such a vibe of someone who is really independent, on top of their game, dealing with their money, with their business. I think your mind is elsewhere. And I'm seeing someone rolling their eyes whenever someone is trying to flirt with them. You're like, oh my goodness. I've seen so much. I've seen it all. I don't want any players. This is literally the vibe I'm getting. Oof, guys, I'm kind of lost for words tonight. My intuition is like, I, I'm hearing and seeing so many freaking things at the same time. I'm sorry if, uh, if I'm a little bit less clear than usual. It's weird. It's weird what I'm feeling. Five of sword. So 
every time you meet someone or you communicate with someone new, you're a little bit not on the defensive, but you're just like kind of asking yourself if it's worth it. So maybe you've been dating people just casually and you're like, I'm not really sure. I'm not really sure if I want to open up to that person. Maybe you've been feeling a little bit uncomfortable. And then something new happened. You meet someone, you see someone, or they see you. And the attraction is instant. Okay? So maybe this just happened or maybe this is about to happen. Okay? Um, the Ace of Wands is the biggest yes in the tarot. Okay? So... Anytime you see it, you know there is a new beginning and it does feel like a major gift from the universe, you know, kind of a slap in the face, but in a good way. Uh, and see, we have the Ace of Pentacles, two aces next to each other, my two favorite aces. So we have a new beginning when it comes to, you know, new energies, new attraction. And then we have the Ace of Pentacles. So when I was saying that you're busy, that you're gonna, you have a lot of shit to deal with. If you've been looking for uh, a new job, a new house, you know, new home, there's something new about your material that you're working on, it's gonna be happening, okay? Something's gonna be offered to you. And it might happen at the same time that you meet this new person. And we have the 10 of pentacle at the bottom of the deck. A lot of abundance. I think that cash, <laughs> money, stability, um, is a lot more important right now in your life maybe not to you but it is something that will come to you a lot more than love let's put it this way i think that you're again a little bit in your head about oh, what do i want in a relationship now that the past is cleared out and maybe it's not okay maybe you've been in and out or having you know past people coming in but i don't want to focus on them I really think that you're trying to leave behind someone or something. You really want to get it over with. You just want to open your heart to new beginnings. And I think you're really exciting for what's to come. And you kind of feel it also. Okay, Hierophant. Let's start clarifying. This is the Italian version of the Aquarian Tarot. One of my favorite decks. Hierophant. And we have the King of Cups. So you want to open your heart space. But you do feel like you've seen it all. You're like, it's going to take a lot of freaking uh, time to, for someone to wow me when it comes to love. I really think that you're waiting for the big deal. Again, you're not necessarily interested in someone who just wants to have fun who just wants to flirt. Not that you're not having fun and flirting, but I don't think that it's satisfying you in any way right now. Um, yeah, but King of Cups, there's definitely a calling for you to open up, especially when it comes to these new beginnings. There might be someone really worth it that comes in, okay? We'll see. Eight of Swords. We have the Seven of Wands. So you did the work. When you felt trapped in your own mind, when you felt anxious, just done with all the bullshit, chances are you worked your physical body, you either seek help or put your mind into your business. You were like, I'm ready to do anything I have to to get myself out of this situation, willing to fight for what you want. And it could be at work also, okay? So maybe you've been trying to start a new business. You've been manifesting a new job. And I feel that your energy of you being willing to do any freaking thing you have to will be paying off, okay? Um, seven of Wands sometimes, to me, in my personal readings, are like sexual frustration. Kind of connected to the fact that I can't be with someone physically so let's say you're communicating online and you're waiting to meet someone that could be it that could be you being like okay the tension is freaking rising i want to be with you physically 
let's do this because I'm going crazy, okay? I'm willing to do anything I have to. So if you have someone in mind, someone that you've been communicating with, that you've been thinking of meeting or thinking of expanding with, that could be it. You could be a little bit impatient about that. You're like, do you want this or not? Because I'm down. So that could be it also. Three of Wands. We have the Two of Pentacles. So confirming that you've been dealing with everything at the same time. You're busy, my love. You're busy. You're like, okay, um, this is double two. And I like that, okay? Expanding. So not only you're getting a bunch of brand new beginnings when it comes to work, uh, love, personal, you know, personal matter. Um, you're going to be dealing with a lot of things at the same time. And I think you're going to have this feeling of being really proud of yourself. And the sun came out the moment I said that. I hope you're being proud of yourself. Sagittarius, I love you guys' energy because a lot of the time you're like, fuck yeah, I'm proud of myself. I've been doing all the work. I don't have anyone to think but myself. And this is the kind of energy I fuck with. Um, sun energy. The heart space. This is Leo. So ruled by the heart space. Opening your heart. Okay? Um to someone that is worth it, definitely. Finding happiness also. And it could be finding happiness by being single. Okay, let's clarify the Queen of Pentacles. So we have the Seven of Cups. So definitely options coming your way, okay? Do I want to focus on work? Do I want to open up to this person? You might have more than one, you know, person in your life. Um... But the options to me on top of the Queen of Pentacles could be about you trying to decide where you want to move, where you want to live, where you want to work. Something about your money and your stability, definitely. So when I said in the beginning, a seed has been planted, maybe you've, you know, maybe you've been um, applying for a new job or manifesting or opening up to finding a new way to make money definitely and i think you're gonna have options coming your way especially next to the sun it seems really positive okay six of swords we have the queen of swords so the survivor of the tarot she always chooses honesty integrity on top of everything she wants the truth okay so confirming that you don't want to play games, you're done. And I think that this energy you're leaving behind might be a an ex that was kind of a player. Uh, definitely an energy that we don't want in our lives right now, okay? And I like that. Also, if you've been applying for jobs, I think that it's your honesty and your integrity that's going to get you what you want. Definitely. Um so if you've been waiting for that, I really, I know this is a soulmate reading, but there's definitely someone about to start either a new business, change work, or getting a raise at work. It feels like there's a lot of money coming in for you, and I think you feel that. I really, oh, okay. Look what popped out of the deck, the Wheel of Fortune. The moment I was saying that. I don't feel like love is the main focus in your life right now. I really don't think it's like your number one deal. And see, we have the emperor that came out also, the boss of the deck. So are you trying to open a business? Are you trying to start something uh, by yourself? Because when I said in the beginning, there is a really independent energy in that reading and you could be in a relationship. It doesn't take away that you might be open for love, but I think that... This energy right now wants me to tell you that if you've been a little scared to make a move, if you've been kind of wondering if you should make a move when it's anything that concerns work, home life, money, it's a big yes. It's a big yes from the universe. Definitely. Ace of Pentacles. We have two Ace and the Wheel of Fortune and the Sun, my love. Okay, it doesn't get any better than that. It doesn't get luckier than that. Ace of Pentacles. 
eight of sword. So some of you, and not everyone, you're in your head a lot. Again, it's the second time that there's an eight. And we had a lot of eights here, you know? Eight, 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 transformation. So I think it's time you give yourself a chance to start over, to remember that you can be totally different every day that comes. You can start tomorrow morning a new job and be like, I am just starting brand new. I'm not focusing on what happened in the past. People who hurt me uh, or maybe your past job was really shitty, your ex-boss. I think that some of you have a lot, of, um, a lot of anxiety when it comes to trusting people. The Queen of Swords is here. You want honesty before anything. And I think in the past people weren't honest with you. And it's been keeping you in your head a lot. And I think it's time that you get out of this mind space, okay? That, of this kind of energy that's controlling you a little bit. But I feel like you're really getting out of that. See the Ace of Pentacles again at the bottom of the deck. Trust me, if you've been waiting for a new job to start a business, to buy a house, find a new home, this shit is happening. And again, you have options in your life when it comes to love. But I feel like money is like the big thing right now for you. I'm really excited for you. Start that project. Do that crazy thing. Take that leap of faith because I really think it would pay off and it would bring you a lot of happiness, a lot of stability, and it would kind of get you out of this anxious headspace of people are here to get me, okay? So thank you for being here, Saj. Thank you for listening. This was a really powerful message because I felt kind of anxious saying it. I was shaky. Uh, I was looking for my words. It doesn't really happen much, but there's something big coming for you. I'm really excited. So press a like. Let me know if you enjoyed this reading and I'll talk to you guys in a couple days.